Hello, this is Warlord. In this one, we're going to take a look at a long-awaited feature, and that's direct FBX export from iClone. It's something that a lot of us has waited on for years, and of course, we've been able to do this via 3D Exchange for a while, but not quite as easily as we can do it now. So let me show you what I'm talking about. What I have in here is the old combat stage. You've seen that. If you've been using iClone any time at all, this is probably one of the first scenes you ever used. Well, this is one of those that can be used. Now, not everything can be exported out. Terrains, uh, proprietary things, uh, lighting, particles, those can't be exported. You'll find out as you try to export something if, if the option stays grayed out. And you know you can't export it. But in this case, this is terrain, and since it's an old one, we can convert it. We can come over here to terrain, and we can grab just the props we want all the way to the floor, or from the floor, excuse me, to the block area. We're going to leave out all that other stuff. Right click and convert to prop, and now it's converting. And while it converts to prop, what we're going to do is take it, and we're going to use, we're going to grab all of them but the floor, or all of them but just one prop, doesn't really matter which one. And we're going to attach all of these to one prop. That makes it easier for us to work with. So, <clears throat> as you can see, here we have just the floor that we have to deal with. And so now we can go ahead and we can export. But in some cases, you're going to find out if you don't merge the prop, then it's not going to come in right uh, in your 3D application. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that first. Let's File, Export, Export to FBX. And I'm just going to export this to the test file. Then we'll move over to 3D Max. Import it. And you'll notice it all came in. So let me show you something here. All the buildings are jumbled up. They're all stuck here in the center. And so and everything's out of place. The terrain's out of place. Things like that. So let's delete that. And let's go back into iClone. Here's our floor prop that we have. What we're going to do is go into edit. And we're going to go merge subprop. Now in the case of trains, they don't always collapse. And I, I don't know why. But now it has been merged even though it doesn't look like it has been. And we're going to export to FBX again. In this case, like I said, I'm going to 3ds Max. I'm not doing any uh, any kind of animation, so we're not really messing with any of it. What I really should have picked was current frame, because all I wanted was just this scene out of it, nothing else. I am embedding the textures. I am telling it not to go over 2048 and delete the unused morphs. Those are just a lot of choices you can make on your own. We'll go ahead and export that out. Now let's take a look at what happens when we import this. Grab the right one, delete that, and you'll see everything's where it's supposed to be. So don't forget to merge your props when you do this. There's really not that much to just moving a scene over. Now let's take a look at non-iClone content mixed with iClone content. And we're also going to export some animation. So what I have here is an apartment that does not come from iClone, a futuristic apartment. Then I have a character creator alien, and it's also raining outside. So we have particles and things like that. But like I said, the particles and the lighting, they're not going to transfer. But we can transfer this camera shot also, if we want to, and things like that. Now in this case, we have the gray with suit, which is the avatar, the character creator avatar. The wall is this image that you see through the image. That's just a wall stuck back there. And the apartment is this entire uh, collection here of props and things. We can't take the particle, the sky, but we can do the camera, and we can't do the lights. So what we can do is grab the ones that we know we can do. And if you're not sure, you just go ahead and include it in your list. And when you come up here, if this is grayed out, then you know you've got something that you can't export. 
So let's see what happens here when we don't merge anything and we just export it like this. And again, I'm just going to overwrite that same test file. As soon as it gets finished, we'll move over to Studio Max and take a look and see if everything's where it's supposed to be. Since this is one prop, the only thing that could happen is I think that back wall may be out of place. That's probably about it. But let's see. Just ignore the warning. And no, everything's fine as far as the way it came through. There's absolutely no problems there. Now, I don't think I said anything to uh, export the actual animations or anything because I just wanted to go through that part first. Let's go back and let's do this again. Export FBX and let's take a look. We want a current frame. Let's go ahead and get it all so we get the animation with it. You could just do a range or you could do a, a T-pose. Everything else we're going to leave the same. So all I'm going to do is just grab all. Export. I'm going to overwrite that same file. It may take a while longer because it's got to save a little more. But it's just moving right along. As soon as it gets finished, we'll jump over into Studio Max and pull it in. And see if our character retained everything. Some props do take a while. She's just about done. This is one of the longer exports I've had to go through. Okay, file, import, excuse me, sorry about that. And let's see what happens here. Again, we're just going to ignore that. Okay. Now here's our apartment. And there's our grade. So. Let's see what we can figure out here. Where are we at? Looks like we might be around behind it. There we go. Now, what you see here, these are helpers and things. We can come in and turn those off. Actually, what you would do is use your little list here. And you could delete some of those just by doing that. Now, as far as these, these are helpers that are on the... Uh, the uh, skeleton itself. If you work in Studio Max, you're used to seeing those. And you'll notice, you'll see it's moving. Let me go ahead and go to a bigger screen here. And you'll notice we have our animation. And everything transferred. Now, again, some of these things, you can just come in and you can just delete them. And it's not going to hurt anything. But most of us are used to seeing these pivot points, bones, things like that. It's something you'll just get used to. But this is really a very easy and very powerful FBX export feature. I don't know if you have to have 3D exchange in order for this to work. That's something that uh, really wasn't made clear. But I do know that getting things out of iClone now is going to be a whole lot easier. I hope this helps. I'm not